That's what I was going to say. Oh, okay, I just wasn't sure. Well, just because I've been angry for three years doesn't mean that I can be can't be happy for them to. Uh, okay, cool. I'd, All right, cool. I am just. I hope. Christine and David can be happy. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Can you guess? Mm. Can we just talk about how weird Robin <laughs> is? Like during this whole wedding special, especially seeing the new trailer for the part two, I'm just like, I don't know what. Robin like, I'm just doing. looking at the screen like. I don't What's know. actually wrong for her? Like, actually? <laughs> she, you know. Oh, my God. She hopes or wishes that Christine can be happy. <laughs> you should be telling that to you and your husband. But it let's get into it, y'all. It's Mary. And Emma. Um, uh, you guys to like. Subscribe. And comment down below, y'all, because I want to talk about three things that Robin did. Yes. One, she cut Cody off. She refused for him to tell his story. Two, she, Which, she made the statement mm -hmm. that... I hope they can be happy. And then three, on the trailer for part two, she shoves her her lips against Cody's and asks them all open, like, oh, we're about to get into a serious makeout session. Go away. Go away. Go. And Cody's all like, do you see his lips tightly clenched? <laughs> I'm like, Cody, she's trying to give you your customer service in front of us. I did not need to see that. Like, Robin has never done that before in life. Like, never that we have like, seen. Like, reached so out to be the one to kiss him. Yes, I know. Then also, I remember their look back Maybe, episode uh, where Cody was, um... You know, you know what it was? She remembers when Christine talked about, like, they kiss or whatever. Remember how Christine was like, she thought that it would be a problem and she was telling Suki, yeah, like, that's not a problem. Dave said that wasn't a problem at all, right? She's right. a great kisser or whatever. So Robin has decided, I need to show that I am a great kisser. Cody and I. And then, of course, she's heard about Janelle and Cody's chemistry. <laughs> so she's like, look, okay? She thought all she, right? she thought she I, was the only one putting it down in Chinatown. Hello? She realized, like, look, okay, I am, all right, I, well, we already know him and Mary weren't doing anything, right? Hell but no. But all of a sudden, here's, here's David accounting for, for Christine's passion. And, well, um. Well, we just saw it, see that, because it was all on the we, lap dance. We now know about the whole Janelle and Cody's passion. So, Robbie is feeling like, okay, they haven't seen my passion. They haven't seen my customer service, okay? And even though I'm left standing with this man, I gotta show what I can do. That was That's so I, odd. But it, looked it was so, so cringe. cringe. It I looked was just like, like you could have saved Cody that in the draft. Wasn't, maybe she and Cody they should have planned how they were going to do it because he seemed taken aback and he didn't seem as though he wanted at that moment to kiss her. My thing is they don't do it really on TV. Like they try, like there have been some times where they have tried to do it on TV and they're just weird. I remember when something like you said, do you want to sit on the left seat? Remember when he said that nastiness in front of his daughters? And then also I remember they were doing the look back episode. She grabs his face all weirdly and she's like, shh. Yeah. And then now I she's know. shoving her lips yeah. on him, yeah. and then she's, she's telling, she's as your telling eyes are wide, I think the worst thing, remember that bachelor from The Bachelor, was Matt. it Matt, who was kissing with his eyes open? It was so weird. Like, what psychopath he kisses even, with their eyes open? Like, I'm sorry. That, like, like, he couldn't even kiss also? Like, I, well, that's why, because you don't get into, because you don't close your eyes and get into the moment, because your eyes are wide open looking at everything else except for the partner and enjoying that moment. And now Robin is here. I think she just, I don't think she was trying to be passionate. I, I really hope that wasn't the passion. I, I don't know she how was. she. I, don't, I think she really was trying. If that is the passion that they have been having for years, I don't know how the Cody, I don't know how the hell Cody has stayed. Especially when he had Janelle over there putting it down in the well, sheets, black, the being a lady in the street. <laughs> like, he already had Janelle, right? So that, yeah, he already had Janelle. So it was like everybody for different things. Robbing to make him feel like a man in terms of all that laundry, but you're not putting it down, right? God, I'm mercy. Janelle <laughs> to whatever, Christine to be light and fluffy and, be and the accept him flaws and all, right? And then Mary to just be loyal, whether he shades her 
every moment of her existence yeah you know um so everybody for different things <laughs> but i thought that was so cringe that was very cringe that was so weird it seems as though she's becoming very handsy with him i think that's why that's why she hasn't done this before what is she trying to prove like we don't she need anything else she wants us to know that look they have passion they have emotions between them i guess we all knew you were not sexually attracted to cody that day when he was saying you're too pretty to cook and clean and she looked a little bit like mm-hmm. I know. and i remember there was another time where she had changed her name to brown and he yeah. tried to basically make out with her in front of everybody and she was just like yeah like as he's all closer like she had to pat his chest as she moved her lips like i could tell she was not i'm sorry when you're interested I, in somebody you're like christine yeah. and david you don't want to let go of that person you you be feeling things you like remember when she was on in that I, commercial i was okay. there with christine and she was like kissing david and her hands were all wrapped around him, and then she was like doing the lap dance oh. like when you're attracted to somebody that's that's kind of like how you be feeling like she so was trying to get her groove off <laughs> and janelle in front was of everybody's like okay christine and janelle was like okay can we keep the room <laughs> And Robin, you not you not convincing me that y'all no. have had this grand passion. Even Janelle's like, I don't know, I guess I maybe that's like his grand I've, passion. I don't know. Remember yeah, she said that was Suki. She even Janelle she didn't is not it. buying it. She she has never bought their soulmates. No, because she knows Cody. Like Janelle knows the mind of Cody, and she knows how he is physically. So apparently, they had yeah. a great sex life, um, yeah. and they were quite attracted to each other. So she also gets see the vibes i'm sure her and cody have yeah. looks that they will give each other to signal or whatever you know what i'm saying i i so doubt he, it i doubt it but he <laughs> knows he doesn't even have to look at her and she doesn't have to look at him it's a feeling it just bounces off of you i'm sure she's not getting that and you don't even have to Robin. make eye contact well because i remember when he was sitting down at the table there and they want to hug you and and kiss you and remember and janelle was just like okay all right cody okay Okay, you're not getting any tonight, though. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy, yeah. But yeah, Robin, mm, nobody's really please keep that it. over there. Just put that in a little box she and, and Cody, lock it up. They should have like they should have said, you know, we want to show this passion. I'm gonna reach out to kiss you at some point. I'm not gonna tell you when, but just be ready. How? Because he was not ready. His lips were tightly clenched. How boring is that? You have to you have to schedule a kiss on camera. Well, you can't just like you guys just don't connect you don't, you, and you, you just like you feel it when you want to kiss and you just kiss each well, other. Like you have she to schedule have it because that was not it. Anyway, she probably should have. But yeah, she seems. They both seem kind of bitter, confused, petty, both of them. They seem lost. Is yeah. that am I always getting that feeling that they seem lost? <laughs> like somewhere in Gilligan's Island somewhere. Like very lost. Like with a coconut sitting underneath well, a palm because tree. Because also I think it and Maddie kind of alluded to it, it is the end for sure. Yeah. Christine is getting married. There's no it coming is back. The end of this the family as they know it. Yeah, very true. There's no coming back. Cody recognizes this. He's still trying to t tell his story. It's over, Cody. This boat left. When that you all went down the road, we knew as long as. Bye! Yeah. Bye! She was Bye. gone. We knew she wasn't coming back. But somewhere yeah. along the line, you thought that she was coming back and we will talk about that when we talk about her daddy oh my god i cannot wait to talk about rex he is funny obviously cody has been thinking that she was coming back even though she was with david foolish she, you know there are some men that just think that they have this claim on obsessed. you like they exactly. have this feeling like oh she no uh, thinks what. Of, like no matter what like i just have this claim on this woman like she's yes. always, always gonna be mine and she always gonna come back you have to realize that when a woman is done, she is done. Because the thing is, when we give men chances and chances, and sometimes we give them years, sometimes hmm. decades upon decades <laughs> upon decades. <laughs> but when we yes. have made our final agile, and mm. we have told you what it is, mm. and you have showed your dairy air, mm. and we say we're done, it's mm. over. 
it's over. Don't come back, baby. Mm. No, you might be come crying to my daddy. Mm. I don't care if you come crying to my family. Mm. There's no coming back around the river band. But it's <laughs> no obviously that people. So yes, y'all. But let's get into it on the next yes. video. It's Mary and Emma. We invite you guys to like. Please like and subscribe. And do not get subscribed to our Patreon, you all. Yes. Um, but we will see you guys on the next video. And comment down below. 